I have every single heirloom and mythic skin in the game. Good, bad, average, doesn't matter, I have them all. But which are the best, which are the worst, which one should you buy and which one should you avoid at all costs? Well, I've used every heirloom an absurd amount, having almost 200,000 kills and 10,000 hours in the game. So let's put all that knowledge to use and go tell you the best and worst heirlooms in Apex. Alright, best looking action figure in the We're going to start off with Bang, one of the OG legends from Apex and one of my favourite heirlooms in the entire game. Bang herself is taking over the competitive and just ranked in Apex in general at the moment. Insanely strong legend, even though they did recently nerf her. But as for her heirloom, it's absolutely amazing. I think it's one of the most underrated heirlooms in the game. The inspect's absolutely amazing. The lore behind it is awesome. If you go back and watch some of the lore they put out, uh, she actually gets this from a pilot that she was fighting. It's really cool. It's amazing. Um, it glows in the dark as well, which is absolutely insane. It's got really cool melee animations. But the biggest question of the wall, does it have a spin when you're running? It does. It has a six spin. So today, with all the aliens, the way we're going to be ranking them is, one, how does it look? Two, does it have an awesome looking spin? Three, what are the animations like? And four, is it too big bulky and is it pay to lose for being on your screen too much? So far, as you can see for Bang, no, not too big and bulky, looks pretty good. Oh, such a cool animation. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! That's actually sick. Alright, so where are we ranking Bang? So for Bang's Alien, I think we're going to put it in a maze tier. I don't think it's God tier, I think it's the best in the entire game. But I do think it's solid, it's extremely good. The animations are amazing. Uh, it's not too big on your screen, it looks amazing, it glows in the dark. It's got cool lore behind it, it's awesome. Now, as for our tier list there, we have God Tier, which is going to be reserved for one heirloom only, the best heirloom in the entire game. Then, we also have Waste of Money, which will be the worst heirloom. You will not purchase this heirloom no matter what, even if you main a legend. Then we have, you know, the ones that are slightly better, they suck. Then you should only buy this heirloom if you main that legend, so you actually get some use out of it. It makes sense. Then you've got your stock standard average one, above average, and, of course, the amazing one, like Bang's heirloom. Now we have Bloodhound's heirloom, which was actually my first ever heirloom in all of Apex. One of my uh, friends donated me money until I was able to purchase and buy it, which was amazing. Big shout out to you, Gucci Slides. I appreciate you, dude. Um, but no, this heirloom is absolutely insane. Uh, this heirloom was back out in the game when you couldn't even choose what heirloom you got when you were opening packs. When you opened packs, it gave you a random heirloom and you could get, you know, randomly either Bloodhounds or Wraiths and I think maybe Pathfinders. But this was the one I got out of packs. It's uh, super cool. I like it. My biggest issue with it, though, is it doesn't have too many in-spec animations, I don't believe. It's got, like, literally just, like, one or two. So that kind of lets it down there, but it's not too big and bulky on your screen. So that's decent. Uh, it does glow in the dark once again. It's got the cool little red tinge to it, which is amazing. Uh, the eyes, Artur's eyes light up on it as well, which is super cool. But the real question is, the most important one, does it have an anim spin animation? It does. It has an absolute sick spin animation. When you run, it's also in the top right corner, so it's not in the way. So it doesn't, it's, you know, get in the way of your vision too much. Really cool, Alien. I like it quite a lot. So I think we're going to put Bloodhound in... We're going to put it in the above average uh, tier at the moment. In these tiers, they're all going to be ranked as well, with the ones being on the far left being the best in that tier. And the ones uh, at the end being the worst in that tier. And we may move them up and down as we go. But currently we'll put it at the top of the above average. Keep it in the theme of OG. We're going to go to one of the OGs. The main OG legend. The Sweaty Sweat TTV Wraith. Now Wraith's OG Blade is actually one of the, one of my favourite uh, heirlooms in the entire game. It's absolutely awesome. It also got an update recently where they were given more animations. Because it did only have the one until maybe about six months ago. And now it's got a bunch more. And the animation is absolutely sick. Let's see if we can see a few of them right now. Like, how cool and amazing is this? Uh, and also, if you guys didn't know, if you crouch and look at the ground with it, it'll run a dub, dub, because all you guys watching are dubs, and it's fucking sick. It's amazing. I wonder if I could run on this wood, actually. That could be so cool. <laughs> so does it stay there? It does stay there if you put it on it. Oh, that's actually so sick. That's amazing. And, no, it's awesome. It doesn't take up too much of your screen, which is amazing. And it has the best, and OG, or has the OG and the best spin animation in the entire game. You'll see every little sweaty Ray TTV running around. Wannabe fades going spin, 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 spin. 
I think it's absolutely cool. Absolutely amazing. Got a couple of cool secret specs as well. I probably won't be able to get them right now, but it does have some. Oh! Oh, this is one of the new ones they added. My favorite ghost with Watson. Does it matter as much as who I am now? That's just so cute. But Raid Sailing, we are going to put in the... I think we're going to put it in the Amazing tier list. It's going to be top of the Amazing tier list. It's not going to be the best heirloom in the entire game, but it's going to be the top of the Amazing tier list. So slightly better than Wraith, but I don't think it's the best uh, heirloom in the entire game. You have to wait to see what that is, but it, it's, in, it's a very, very good heirloom. Now we have Lifeline's heirloom, another one of the OGs staying with that trend. Actually, my original main in Apex as well. I think I got about six, 7,000 kills. No, 6,000. There you go. Not bad. Uh, she's absolutely awesome. I didn't actually get this heirloom to quite a long way into Apex, but I think she has some really cool inspects. I also love the fact that her, uh, her drumsticks, you know, she loves the drums, are also shock sticks, because she's a medic, so she can shock people alive, or, you know, just shock them in general. I think it's absolutely amazing. Super cute little stickers on them as well are amazing. I love her peace signs. I don't know if she has a lot of inspects, though. I'm pretty sure she only has, like, one or two inspects. So that's kind of sad, but... They are still absolutely amazing. Hopefully they get some love and get an update at some point. <laughs> I love them, they're so cool. Although they do have a really cool uh, inspect animation where you run in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she spins the one on the right, which is kind of nice. Meow. <laughs> All right, so are we gonna rank this alien low? I think we're going to put it in... I think it's going to go... I don't want to put too many at the top. I want to be kind of harsh. I don't want to put them all at the top. So I was, I'm tossing up between Amazement and Above Average. I think I'm going to put it in Above Average. I think it's on par with Bloodhounds, Ellen. I think it's a good Ellen. I think they're both amazing Ellen. It could be put up higher in Amazing if they had more inspects. But sadly, they only have their one or two inspects each, which kind of lets them down quite a bit, sadly. All right, Mirage time. As you can see there, I had on the best skin in the entire world. I got a little bit of the... Uh, Banana skin, corn bananas, best skin in all of Apex. <laughs> He's got bananas all over him. But Mirage's heirloom. So I think one thing we need to take into account with Mirage's heirloom is the lore and the story behind it. So everyone looks at this heirloom and they hate it. I think it's really cool though. It's got some amazing animations. And the reason for this heirloom, the reason it's of him is because in lore, his mother has dementia. So he made this heirloom to give to his mother so that she could always remember him, which I think is super sweet and super cool. So I think you gotta take that into account. And of course, I'm sure I'm not going to be getting now. <laughs> also, I'm sure I'm not going to be getting now because it's super crazy rare. Uh, but he also has the best hidden animation in all of Apex. He has the pork chop, which I'm sure I'll find a video and put it on screen right now. The pork chop slap when he melees is actually amazing. The melee is actually really cool on this guy as well. Uh, it's got a pretty cool, decent spin animation. Not as cool as the kunai, of course, but still decent. Doesn't, like, glow in the dark or anything like that, which is kind of sad. I think it's only got one or two inspects, which is kind of disappointing. I wish it had more. But it's still a pretty decent heirloom. That's such a cool inspect. Does it have a different one when I crouch? It does not. Alright, so where are we going to rank it? Usually, in tier lists, when I see them, people always... Quiet, Mirage. Usually in tier list when I see people rank him, he always gets ranked really low and like, you know, be like down here somewhere. But I think we're going to put it in average. I, part of me wants to personally put it in above average because I think it could be there, but we're going to put it at top average for now. I think it's a cool heirloom. I probably wouldn't buy it unless you play a little bit of Mirage at least. Not to main him, but at least play a little bit of him, but it's still pretty cool. Maybe. Now it's time for Pathfinder, everyone's favorite legend. So, Pathfinder's heirloom actually had quite a big issue when it first came out. When it first came out, it was a little bit more bulky and it had a lights on his boxing gloves that used to just go off randomly and make noises and be really distracting and annoying all the time and there was nothing you could do about it to stop it. So it was considered a pay-to-lose heirloom back in the day. And on top of that as well, as you can see, it's kind of big and bulky on your screen compared to not having it. So once again, it does uh, obstruct your field of vision a little bit. But in saying that, it is still an absolutely amazing heirloom. It has some really, really cool inspects. I feel like it fits him and his, you know, who he is within the game and the way he acts really well. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no, Artur! Ah. Sadly though, it does lack in specs, as I'm pretty sure it only has this one in spec. Uh, which is kind of sad. Which is definitely kind of sad. But it's still a decently cool heirloom. When he runs as well, I'm not sure if we'll get it. When he runs, he does little jabs with his fists, which I think is one of the most cute things in the entire game. Let's we'll see if we can get him to do a little jab when we're running. 
Along with the jab though, one of the sad things, it doesn't actually have a, uh, you know, a twirl or spin when you're moving. So you can't do anything cool. I like count with the kunai and stuff, which is kind of sad. Doesn't like glow in the dark, and all the lights would light up in the dark, I guess. Uh, but I think overall, it's not one of the best elements. I think we're definitely going to put it in... I think we're going to put it in average. I think we're going to put it average. Probably the bottom of average. It's a decent heirloom, but it's not absolutely and utterly amazing. Now we have Octane's heirloom. The little dagger. The little butterfly knife. Actually, really, really cool. I think it has some of the best animations in the entire game, and it's so well made. Look at those animations, they're absolutely insane. Suits perfectly with every Octane main that just, you know, goes fast and throws jump out and ins into every fight. Makes complete sense. <laughs> and on top of that as well, it's really small, so it doesn't, you know, obstruct your field of view too much, so it's not a pay-to-lose heirloom. Well, technically every heirloom is pay-to-lose, but it takes up some of your screen, but it takes up some of the least of your entire screen. Uh, when you run as well, it has really cool, really cool little flip. Meow. It's actually so cool. Probably the coolest flip, to be honest. It's probably better than Wraith's. Wraith's is definitely simpler, but this one is really cool. Does that have a cool uh, melee animation? Decent melee animation, nothing crazy, but that's alright. But once again, as it is one of the OG heirlooms, I don't think it has too many inspects. I think it's only got like one or two inspects, which is a big downfall of a lot of the OG heirlooms, apart from like Wraiths, which got uh, some added to it. But even in saying that though, it's still really cool. It also actually has a couple of uh, really rare and cool animations of when you stim yourself. It'll do some uh, cool little hand gestures and things like that. If I find some, I'll put them on screen right now. So overall, I think we're going to put Bloodhounds in... I think we're going to put it in above average, but I think we're going to put it at the top of above average. I, I think it's better than Bloodhounds. I really do. I think I think, it, I think it's better than Bloodhounds. Which is saying quite a lot, but I think it's really cool. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's a must-buy, but I think it's very, very, very good heirloom. Ooh, now we have an interesting one coming up. The big man! Gibbay! So I think there might be a little bit of controversy over this heirloom. I personally like it. I think it's really cool. I think the uh, noise animation you make when you pull it out is absolutely amazing. Let me go grab a gun real fast so I can show you. Fire noise it makes when you pull it out. It's so cool. I love it. So small things like that that make heirlooms really cool. But on top of that as well, uh, the heirloom as well, it looks amazing, but at the same time it doesn't. Like the, uh, like the, it kind of looks like it's made of plastic, but the idea of it's really nice. The fire looks absolutely amazing. It sadly does only have, I believe, this one inspect, which kind of ruins it a little bit. I like it. It has more than one inspect. I'm glad it has more than one inspect. I haven't used the heirloom much, so apologies. Oh, it's actually really cool. Oh, it lights up more when he grips it. It's got that tight grip strength. Hell yeah. It's actually so cool. And it also has a decent spin uh, when you're running around with it. Although it is kind of big and chunky, your screen does take a bit of space. It also glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. So I think overall, we're going to rate Gibby's heirloom in... I think we're going to put in the average here. I don't think it's abs... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm actually going to put it a bit lower. I'm going to put it down only if you only if you main him. I don't think you should get this heirloom unless you main Gibby. I don't think there's too much point in having it. Especially because you're not going to play much Gibby unless you main him. So we're going to put it down there. It's definitely top of only if you made him, though it could go into average. So next up we have Caustic. As you can see as well, he's got a decently cool animation when you pull it out. He actually, from memory, has some really, really cool animations as well. Including the secret one, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get to get it, but I will put it, I will put it on screen if I can't get it. One of my biggest issues with this alien, though, is that it's just his own face. I've always found it kind of weird that he, he made a hammer of his own face. <laughs> okay, that was actually sick though. Those eyes there, that was amazing. It's kind of big and chunky on screen, so let's take a little bit of space. Doesn't have a spin animation either, which kind of sucks. I mean, I guess when you press the uh, inspect animation when sprinting, it spins that little wheel in the middle of it there. If you see, it's spinning it now whenever I press it. That's still not that cool though, really, to be honest. Uh, melee animations, they're decent. They're nothing crazy. Oh, that, that bonk in the face is kind of nice. <laughs> they're decent, but they're nothing crazy. This may be a controversial take for me, but I am personally going to put it in. I think it sucks. I don't think it's that good of an heirloom. I, I think it's one of the worst heirlooms in Apex. I... 
I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. Feel free to yell at me in the comments below, especially all you caustic mains out there. But I apologize. What, I, you know, don't yell at me too much like caustic mains. I have quite a few kills with caustic myself, you know, you know, a little 6,000 kills on him. I'm not terrible. This one is going to be interesting. So we have Ramparts Alien, the wrench. It's going to be more controversial over this one. I can already feel it. So I have a look at the animations first. Into the battery on, be decent. It's like a little dinosaur. It's got a little dinosaur on the end of it as well. It's so cool. I think it's such a cool alien. I want to get the one where she pops the popcorn out. How do I get it? Here we go. I think this is it. Yeah, popcorn. <laughs> I think it's such a cool alien. I think the animations are really cool. I think they're super perfectly there. It is. There's the popcorn. She can eat some. I think it's absolutely amazing. It suits her absolutely to a T. And on top of that, um, if you're under 18, look away right now. If you just endlessly crouch. We won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. I, I think this is one of the most underrated aliens in the game. When you run with it as well, it's got a really cool uh, spin animation. It doesn't take up too much of your screen. The uh, melee animation, I mean, basic, same like the others. Oh, it's got a few different ones, actually. It's not bad. So, I think we're going to put Rampart's heirloom in... We're going to put it in... We're going to put it in Amazing. We'll see what you guys think of this, but we're going to put it at the bottom of Amazing. I think it's a really, really cool heirloom. One of the most underrated in the game. All right, now it's time for the main legend. The main legend in all of Apex. The main character, Watson. My main, if you don't know, I have an absurd amount of kills in her. Was number one in the world in there for... A very, very, very long time. Still am in most stats. Um, her heirloom though, something we need to have a serious conversation about. I know there are a few people out there, some Watson mains as well, that like it and think it's really cool and I can kind of see how it fits into her lore, but I think for as in-game itself, it sucks. Let's be real. The animations for it do kind of save it. The animation's really cute. She plays little video games on it, which is nice. Radar on it as well, see where enemies are. Although it doesn't actually work in game, <laughs> that'd be cheating. <laughs> when you walk with it as well, she pushes a little stick down to signify that she's moving, which is really cute as well. Now let's see if we can get the main the main animation. There is a couple more, but they're not too important. We just want the main animation. Where is it? There it is! Ah, Nessie! I named my puppy after. Super cute. Oh. So that animation there definitely got, goes towards saving it, but in saying that, why wasn't that just the heirloom? Why didn't they just grab literally a soft toy Nessie, a plushy Nessie, and make that the heirloom? She could run around with it, whack people, makes a little squeaky noise when she hits someone. The amount of animations they could have made for it would have been cool. It would have sold double, triple the amount. It would have been absolutely awesome and probably easier for them to make as well. Um, so I may upset a few other Watson mains out here for this, and I'm sorry if I do. But I personally think this heirloom, ah, uh, it sucks. It has a, you know, a decent animation when you spin, but it is also kind of a little bit bulky. So, my beloved Watson, her heirloom, I think we're going to put it down to only buy if it's your main. That may be a little bit of, you know, me siding with it a little bit much because I may know. Could even go down in sucks. I'm sure some people would say it's average, but we're going to put it there. We're going to put it there for now. Now we move over to Crypto. I think this heirloom had so much potential. I think it could have been absolutely and utterly amazing. It could have been awesome. The sword looks amazing. It's nuts. The animation's really cool how it includes hack. And they fight. Oh, they're playing Pong. Oh, he's just practicing his skills. Nice. It's actually so cute. It's got a couple of really cool hidden animations as well. Like when they do like dab and stuff together. It's nuts. This animation here is absolutely sick. That's actually so cool. Oh my god. But my big issue with it is it kind of looks like a like a toy sword that you would go get from like your local toy shop. It looks like it's made out of foam, it doesn't look real. If they made it look a little bit more realistic, it'd be so cool. But I still think it's a really, really, really cool element. It's gonna be mounted quite highly. Probably the biggest issue with it is so crypto mains is that it's on crypto. <laughs> it's still a really cool element. I think it's absolutely awesome. And it goes really well with crypto on who he is. And we are gonna put that in we're gonna put it in the average. I think it's an average element. We're gonna put it at the bottom of the average as well. Also, on that note, we're going to move Parthi's gloves up one, I think. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to move Watson's Alien up one as well. 
So now we have Valkyrie's heirloom. Really cool animation when you pull it out, as you just saw there. Pull out Game Strong. Um, a really cool looking sword. I'm not completely sure on the law, but I'm not sure if it ties back into her Titanfall, you know, uh, law and connections with her father, etc., etc. Um, but I think it's a pretty decent heirloom. It's pretty nice. The animations absolutely slay for it. They're absolutely insane. Let's watch a couple of them. Whichever dev is watching the animation did so well. He's of course my favorite one. Look at this! <laughs> she chilling, she's eating some ramen. Yo, what? Oh my, Valkyrie, all right. Dude, Valkyrie has devoured that entire bowl in a one slurp. Slurp game strong. Oh. That'd be so cool. It's got VLK on it from Valkyrie, I'm pretty sure. It's such a cool heirloom. It really, really, really is. And then, of course, you get the secret animation if you crouch. It's her dad's helmet, I'm pretty sure. Which is super nice. But how are we going to rate it? Um, it's an interesting one to rate. It's an interesting one to rate. I think it's average. I don't think it's one of the best heirlooms going around. But it's definitely not, uh, you know, you should definitely not only buy it if you main it. I think it's an average heirloom. I think it's decent. I think it's average. I think we're going to put it towards... The higher end of average as well. I want to move Crypto Sword up a little bit to there as well. Ah, uh, to there, to there. All right. Ooh, okay, now Loba time. The fan. A lot of people love this element. I think it's one of the best heirlooms in the game. But let's actually have a quick look at it. So, first off, doesn't take up too much of your screen, which is really cool. Um, melee's on it, absolutely awesome. They're absolutely amazing. It's got cool little animations when you do it. It's absolutely sick. Doesn't have a cool spin when you run around with it. It does. It has an absolutely amazing spin when you run with it. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, but what about the animations themselves? Dun dun dun. This one may have been my finest heist. That's so cool. The blades that stick out after. Oh, I don't know about that little growl there. I mean, god damn. Okay, Luca. Oh my god, it's rapid. Dude, that thing's sharp! What the hell? <laughs> She's filing her nails. Multi-use as well. Alright, gotta give her bonus points for that. Oh! Dude, she has so many animations for her heirloom. Oh, I've never seen this one! Oh, that's the diamond. That is so cool. It's gone. Dude, magic trick? Lobo the magic trick? On top of this as well, I think this heirloom is one of the best they have in fitting the character. This heirloom fits Loba and her character so well. It's actually amazing. Oh my god, it's so cool. Little fox mask. Dun dun dun, sneaking up. Dun 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 Wait, does it stay on the whole time? I know, it got off. That's so cool though. So how are we going to rank this? So, you ready for this? Don't judge me too much. God tier. I think that Loba's heirloom is the best heirloom in the entire game. I think it absolutely slaps. I think it's amazing. Without a doubt, the best heirloom in the entire game. Feel free to absolutely roast me in the comments if you want for that. But we're putting that there. Alright, now we have Seer. Really cool pull out animation there. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, Seer. I'm not the biggest fan of Seer. He destroyed Apex for a solid one to two seasons. Um, but I think his heirloom is absolutely amazing. Like, look at this animation! Oh my god! Like, whichever devs and animators worked on this, they absolutely farm. It's insane. Beauty is in the eye like, the rose the comes out as well, and each- oh my god. That's actually amazing! What? As time went on, you can definitely see that more time got put into the animation, and the animation team definitely got better at what they were doing in terms of the animations for the heirlooms. They got more Such love. They're absolutely insane. Can make quite the impact. Like, look at this! It's actually ridiculous! That is so sick. Such Ooh. Oh, I forgot that he had these ones where he draws. I wonder what he's going to draw. There's a bunch of secret ones that he draws as well. I wonder what we're going to get. What are we going to get? Rampart! Oh, I didn't want the Rampart one. That's a little blurry. Pixel art draw? 
Come on, give us another one. Give us another one. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's a pixel octane. I don't know why the quality is so bad. That's weird. But ah, we'll take it. Hey, what about, his, uh, what about his spin when he runs? Does he have anything cool? Oh, he does. It's the opposite hand as well. Usually it's always in the right hand. This one's the left hand one. I think that's pretty cool how he spins. I like it quite a lot. Ah, uh, so we are going to put the C1 into... I think we're going to chuck it into average heirlooms. I wanted to put it in only if you main or even lower sucks because it's on Seer, but honestly, the heirloom is pretty cool. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty cool heirloom. So we're going to put it there, and we're going to put it... I think we're going to put it at the end. Yeah, we're going to put it at the end. Okay, time for one of the more recent heirlooms that's come out uh, within Apex itself. The Ash heirloom, who I actually named my other puppy after. Um... Ash, kind of an undervalued legend, not played too much. Pathfinder's actually so cute. And that is something that salvages this alien. Pathfinder going out there and saying, <laughs> and it being one of like the, uh, the inspect animations, the, uh, Ash's Pathfinder's ex-girlfriend is actually so wild, not gonna lie. But as for the alien itself, oh, sharpener today that reminded me of you you are sharp in many ways that's something i like about you <laughs> that's me that is yet again that is so many connotations pathfinder oh my god oh i forgot that he i forgot that ash had a rat oh my god it's so chunky it looks so sad jeez Yeah, but as for the animations themselves, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they're really that cool. I mean, I don't obviously or personally understand the nunchucks either. Like the electrified nunchucks, I'm sure someone in the comments probably can let me know. How does that fit into the lore of her? Is she an assassin? I don't think assassins really carry nunchucks. Maybe I'm just silly and wrong in that. I don't know. Do the blades come out the end here? I'm pretty sure they do actually. They do, that's actually really cool, the blades are cool. But I don't know, I think overall it's not the best of looking heirlooms. Uh, it doesn't take up too much of your screen, or it does take up quite a little bit on the right. Uh, does it have a cool animation? It does, it actually, actually has a really cool animation when you run, that's pretty sick. But I still feel like it's just not that good of an heirloom. Like, it's got so many cool things going for it, you know, the Pathfinder animations, the rat animations. But that's just animations. Like, these animations, like... I see how some people like them when they have potential, but... I just don't think I'm a fan, and I think the heirloom itself looks kind of dull and sad, and if you're not doing anything with it, you can't, like, see it to show it off. It's like, you see the handles only. The rest of it's hidden. Like, the blades are hidden in my own shoulder. I want to see the blades! But I think overall, we are going to probably rank her heirloom pretty... Oh, uh, I have to do I have to put something in the worst heirloom slot, and I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. All right, it's in the worst heirloom slot. I have to do it. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm sorry, mate. We have to put it there. Oh, I did forget to show you this though. I did forget to show you the secret animation. Will that change my mind? That's a sick secret animation. Alright, now we have my most hated legend in all of Apex Horizon. She's too silly, strong, and yucky. Oh my god, that was such a cool animation to pull out though. Oh my god. Um, as for the heirloom itself, I have heard and seen a few tweets on Twitter that it looks like something you'd keep on a nightstand, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, but I think the heirloom... I mean, I think I kind of understand it's like a gravity, like, mace or something, right? Because she's like a scientist that's lost in space, correct? Or something, I think? I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. I, I don't know. There is something that's going to redeem it and make me rank it a little bit higher uh, than normal. That's actually such a cool animation, to be fair. It's so sick. Do you have a cool one when she crashes? I actually laugh at it like that. So I think we're going to give it a few minus points just for the way it looks when it just sits here. I think it's big and bulky, almost in the center of your screen. It's kind of ugly. The colors are kind of lackluster, to be completely honest with you. It doesn't have a cool spin when you run around. It just throws it up. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. The noise it makes is kind of annoying as well. To be fair, the melee animations for it are pretty sick. But there is something I've got to show you for it. Anyway, time to rate Horizon's heirloom. Um, look, as much as I hate Horizon, and I really want to put it, you know, all the way down here, I think personally I'm going to put it in the top of average. I think I very well could be in a above average heirloom, probably even an amazing heirloom to some people, but I think for me it's going to be an above average heirloom, probably the best in the above average section. It's pretty cool. The animations are awesome for it. They definitely save it based on the way it also looks. So we're going to stick it there for now. 
All right, now we have the Aussie. Fusey. Fusey's got a guitar. I think guitar is absolutely sick. Don't get me wrong, I was really hoping that they did like a cricket bat or like a uh, stubby of some sort or something for Fusey. But I think the guitar fits, uh, fits him really well. I like how it's got a bunch of uh, features to it that you know, signify towards his relationship uh, with Bloodhound. I think that's really cool and really nice. <laughs> of course, he uh, does a shui, I think, as well as doing it right here. He does! <laughs> One of the most Aussie things there are. If you don't know what a shoe is, we get a uh, we get a beer, we pour it into a shoe, and then we scull it out of the shoe. Sounds disgusting, but it's a right away in Australia. We love it. <laughs> oh my god. The animations for this are actually amazing. This goes back to what I was saying earlier. That as we got further into the game, the animations for the heirlooms are absolutely insane. So I think overall, taking into account it is a little bit bulky. We are probably going to put it down in, I think we're only going to buy it if you main the legend. I want to put it in average because the animations are cool, it does a shooey, but I think the reality is it's on Fuse as well, not the most popular legend, I think. No, no, no we're going to put it in only if you main it, only if you main it. We're going to put it there, we're going to do it. Why can't I just die already? No, you can't die, Revenant, we have to look at your heirlooms, you have three of them, god damn, you greedy bastard. Alright, first up we have his, I believe this is his reskinned heirlooms, the uh, mythic one that came out recently. Same as his basic one, just reskinned to be different colours and brighter and cooler. Got some really cool animations for it as well. Oh my god, like this, but th there's a skull. That's actually so sick. Lights up and like, oh my god, that's actually nuts. Oh, I don't like it when his fingers does that. Oh, I don't like the nails in the chalkboard. For those of you who don't know what that is, you're not an OG to Apex, so I'll say. Back when the uh, devs used to make amazing introductions for legends and cutscenes and all that kind of cool stuff and in-game events, that was amazing. Oh my god, that was actually so cool. So this heirloom as well does uh, glow in the dark, which is absolutely amazing. Bonus points for that. This heirloom's actually so sick. Revenant is so sick. Oh my god. Did we get a when we crouch? Maybe? Reminds me of Pelican. I don't know why. So cool. Uh, it is kind of big and bulky. It doesn't take up too much of your screen, I guess. It does kind of intrude into the middle of it. Um, when I sprint, do I get a cool animation? You spin a little bit. It's kind of nice. It's kind of vibey. Uh, melee animations. I mean, they're sick. You can hit people with a scythe. How could it not be sick? That's pretty goddamn awesome. So I think we are going to put Revan's newer mythic skin, so the recolor skin of the original. I think we're going to put it in... I think it's going to go in amazing. I think it's a really, really cool heirloom. I think it's going to go just above Ramparts. Yeah, definitely there. From Revenant's newest uh, recolor heirloom, we go to his OG one. I actually really like the OG one as well. I think it's awesome. Of course, the animations are going to be exactly the same, so you just saw those. Maybe apart from maybe a hidden one that I might have missed. I'm not sure. The heirloom itself, obviously, a little bit duller, not as bright and colorful. But I kind of like the old rustic look. The kind of like scraped out, uh, the scraped out paint that's gone in the middle middle of it there. Um, melee animations going to be exactly the same for it, obviously. Hey, he does that with his fingers. Oh, the spin is going to be exactly the same. Um, so it just comes down to the kind of more dull and basic look. So where are we going to rank this? I think it has to go probably a little bit below the other ones. So I think we are going to chuck it. I think we're going to put it in above average. Bottom of above average, I think is where we're going to put it. Now we go the opposite way. We went from new to old then. Now we go from old to new. We go to the Wraith's Mythic Recolor uh, heirloom of the OG. First ever heirloom in Apex, the Kunai. Over to Hope Storm. So basically, it's same as the blue one, it's just red. You know, as you can see, Wraith's super, super sweaty. God damn. Oof, wipe that sweat off a brow, goddamn TTV sweats. Um, but nah, but the heirloom is absolutely cool. All the animations are literally exactly the same, except you have a red kunai. And this one small change here, where if you uh, do it looking at the ground, you got a blue W in the past. Now you got a. I thought you were going to get a red W. I've been lied to this whole time. It's still a blue W, okay, minus points of not getting a red W there from the red heirloom. That's kind of sad. Um, obviously, really, really cool spin animation. The OG, the best one there is. We all love it. It's actually such a cool heirloom. Meow. Best best melee animation I think in the entire game for any heirloom as well. It's so sick. I love it so 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 much. It's probably, my, probably one of my favorite heirlooms. 
So, if we have to rank that, I think we're going to chuck it up here. I think we're going to chuck it right next to this one. I don't think it's as good as the OG. I like the OG better, probably just because it is OG. But we're going to stick it right there next to it. Now, I would show you all these heirlooms in, you know, in third person stuff, but ultimately there is no special animations or anything. Bloodhelm, we've got the really cool finisher when you get to tier 3, where he gets laser eyes and spams you with him, can make clouds of spokes appear and all that kind of stuff. Give you a seizure if you spam it on and off. I think Bloodhound's prestige skin, if we're going to rank it. I don't think many of the prestige skins are really that cool, to be honest with you. I think we're going to put it in... I'm going to put it in only by if you main. Not really much use to having it otherwise. Bloodhound's really cool. They're, they're, they're a cool legend, though. Uh, Bang? I guess I think Bang's is a little bit better. I don't mind that. The finisher, once again, is pretty cool. I think the finishers in all of them are actually really cool. So we're going to put Bang slightly above that. We're going to put it at the bottom of average. Now we come to Wraith, though. Finisher is absolutely sick, and I think the level 2 skin for Wraith saves this one a bit. And I think we're going to put it in the above average. At the very bottom of above average, though. Then we come to Caustic. There might be a bunch of people that like this Saloon skin. I think it is absolutely awful. It is going in socks. <laughs> you know, oh, you know what? I'm doing it. We changed our mind. But I can only have one in the worst and the waste of money. No, nah, we're having two. Screw it. I was going to move Ashes Alien Mountain to socks, but I can't do it. It's also so bad. We have to put that there. We have to. <laughs> Moving on to Valkyrie once again. Really, really, really cool finisher. The skin's really cool and decent as well. Uh, I like basically all the upgrade levels for it. I think I'm going to chuck that in above average. It's below the Wraith one, but we're still going to chuck it there. Then we have the Revenant one, which came out only recently with Revenant Reborn. Uh, the finisher, as always, for these. Whoever makes these finishers, well done to you. They're absolutely insane. They're absolutely amazing. I don't like his long fingers, though, I'm going to be honest. Please stop giving him long fingers. <laughs> but I think we're going to chuck that one in the average. We're going to put it above the bang one in the average, though. Uh, and now comes Lobo, the brand newest one. So I might get some hate for this, which is going to be maybe a little bit surprising, especially because I did put her heirloom in the top of the top. I don't actually think it's that good. I, I, I think she looks very weird, especially in the tier 3 one. I don't think the finisher is the best of all of them either. It's okay, but it's not the best. I think I'm going to get some hate for this, but we're going to put it here. We're going to put it even below the Bloodhound one. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm changing my mind again. We're going to put it in socks. We're going to put it all the way down there. But there you go. There is my heirloom tier list. Uh, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment below and tell me where you think I was right, where you think I was idiot, and where you think I was the dumbest man ever alive. Um, let me know where you rank your heirlooms. My main question to you as well, though, is where do you rank the uh, Watson Heirloom? Tell me. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What do you guys think? I hope you guys all have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.